Hey y'all, so thank you so much for coming along for my birthday preparations for my daughter and everything like that. Um, along with the birthday preparations, I get out these scrapbooks and books that I have behind me. So I thought to kind of integrate that into here and share some of that here with you because I do find it quite special. And if any of y'all wanna do this for your children or you're gonna be having children or you have young children and you wanna start doing this, I totally recommend doing this. I know that with so much digital stuff out there, we have like digital scrapbooks, we have all our pictures on our phones and all this stuff. But these sorts of things, to pull them out every year on a birthday is truly special, it really is. So I encourage you to print some of these pictures out make yourself some scrapbooks, make some memories that you can um, bring out every year. All right, so these are scrapbooks. Um, I will share with you here. This is a book that I actually made um, for my daughter when she turned one, and it is a book that we continue to read every birthday. We light a candle and read this book. I actually read this whole story on my other channel, School of Scarlet. So if you're interested in that, I'll link that video down below. You do have to stay to the very end when I read it, but I promise you, you will love this story. Um, but anyhow, this is the book that I wrote, and this is something that we bring out every year. Uh, the way that I made this book, I know that now you can write books on Amazon and all of that, but back when I wrote this um, 15 years ago, I used Shutterfly. And that was before they had any of the features of how to make books or templates or anything like that. I literally just uploaded a picture and like wrote text and stuff underneath. So that's how I did this book. And so now you can probably make your kids books all kinds of ways now. There's so many different platforms and ways to do that now. So that is something kind of cool. And it, kids love to have like their names personalized in the books and have stories about them. So that's a great thing to, to make for your child, grandchild, niece, nephew, whatever. All right, so over here is a scrapbook just with like pictures and things like that. Um, a big old scrapbook like that. Um, you know, baby pictures, foot, all of that stuff I've kept in here. Now these books are kind of big. It's gonna be kind of hard for me to share it. But you know, any kind of scraps, letters, things that you got when you went and had your baby, um, you know, whatever it is all kinds of things um notes and things i have on there what names i was thinking about picking out you know when we went to get the baptism and stuff like you know um invitations just all kinds of stuff so make yourself a book or just have like an envelope or somewhere that you can put like those scraps those things that you get from like the hospital the baptism um, when you go to the doctor's appointments, I save like all my well care checkups for my daughter. They usually give you like a little pamphlet and it says like how much they weighed that time that they went to see the doctor and you know, their length and just it has different things on there. Um, so save all that stuff. It'll be really fun to look at every birthday. So that's what I do is I bring that out every birthday and we kind of look at all those um, cool things. So here is another scrapbook. This one is just birthday letters. So what I mean by birthday letters is every year I write my daughter a birthday letter and it really started out with me writing a birth story. Now this birth story, I'll actually read it to you in just a little bit because I think it's really fun. But I wrote this birth letter uh, when my daughter was born because I like to write and journal and like diary and all that stuff. So I did that and then I thought, you know, when it came up to being her birthday, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna start writing her a letter every year. So I started writing her a letter every year. And so every year she has a different letter and it has a different theme because every year she either had a different birthday party or a different interest in life. <clears throat> and in my letter, I go into like, what did she like that year? Who her friends were? What did she play? What did she do? you know, all of that stuff, what sport she was in, anything like that. So I keep all of her letters in here. So this is another cool thing to do. And this one here, guys, that was when we had coronavirus. We didn't have a very interesting birthday, so we decided to cross that one out as just not being a good birthday. But every other birthday we have on here has been really good. And here is our 15th birthday letter. But I'd like to read to you um, the birth story just to close here. 
I do have another scrapbook here behind me, um, but this one is again like kind of like the other ones, um, just baby stuff that <clears throat> I collected. This was actually from her first birthday. Um, so just like birthday pictures and things for her to look at. So all of that is in these scrapbooks. So if you have kids, grandkids, nieces, nephews, make them a scrapbook. Believe it or not, they're, they're really going to appreciate that. All right, so I'm getting these out. And all these birth letters or these stories and things, they're just like in the sleeve. So you can take them out. I like that. That way I can take them out and read them. Here's her birth story. I thought it was a bunch of pages long, but it's really not. It's just that I had like a news article from that year that she was conceived was a baby boom. So like I saved some news articles. Um... We created like a birth plan. All of that was made and printed out there. So, you know, all of these little things you want to save because your kids are going to look at this and be like, oh, what was the birth plan? Oh, my gosh, they wrote a news story about baby boom or whatever. So they're going to get excited about all of that stuff. <clears throat> all right, so it's actually just one page long. So let's go ahead and read this birth story. Lizzie's birth story. That's my daughter's name. Two days before Lizzie was born... <clears throat> Let me maybe take a drink of water before we start. Been working outside a little bit and I don't know if it's the allergies or if it's, I've been doing quite a bit of courses online, um, teaching courses, and I think I may be losing my voice a little bit. <clears throat> so let's try to get through this and I hope that you will enjoy this birth story. Um, Lizzie's birth story. Two days before Lizzie was born, contractions started. We went to the hospital and the contractions were too far apart and I was dilated to two centimeters. So they sent us home until the contractions became closer. The next day, the contractions remained over five minutes apart. That evening, I became very, very hungry with a craving for a mushroom Swiss burger from Chili's. We went to get takeout and right after that, I became sick. I threw up and had a bowel movement. Right after that, my contractions became stronger. We called the hospital and they advised us to stay home as the contractions were still too far apart. About an hour later, we decided to go to the hospital anyway. We took Bella, that's my dog, to her grandparents' house and headed to the hospital. We arrived at the hospital at 8 p.m. And while they were checking me in, they checked how dilated I was. I was already eight centimeters dilated. Within 45 minutes of arriving at the hospital, it was time to push. I had wanted to have an epidural, but I was told it was too late. I received a shot to, to help with pain. I began pushing and after a few pushes, my water broke. After about five pushes, Lizzie was born. Lizzie was born May 25th, 2009 at 9.23 p.m. in Clear Lake, Texas at the Clear Lake Regional Hospital. Lizzie weighed four pounds, 11 ounces. Lizzie let out a big, big cry and the nurses cleaned her right up. Right after her bath, Lizzie was skin to skin with me and was nursing. Lizzie opened her eyes and appeared alert and awake. Lizzie met her family and she nursed really well. Later, that, later we learned that Lizzie was born with jaundice. We stayed in the hospital for a week due to my high blood pressure and Lizzie having jaundice. After a week in the blue lights, Lizzie's jaundice was almost gone. Due to Lizzie's size, we had to clear a car seat check as Lizzie was under the recommended weight for car seats. Lizzie was okay to go home and we took her home after a week in the hospital. Finally, we were a home. Finally, we were a family. It was so nice to be out of the hospital and be home with our new baby girl. So that's Lizzie's birth story. And that's how it was. Only it was a little bit funnier than that, guys. When I went to go uh, into the hospital for that second time they checked me and they were like you're eight centimeters you need to push 
And while they were telling me to push holding both my legs up like this, I was like, where's the epidural? You're not having an epidural. And I said, what? And my eyes were like deer in headlights and I didn't know what to do. The nurse grabbed me and pulled me forward. She said, you can do this. She said, you can do this. You don't need that epidural. So all of a sudden she said, push, push you like you're trying to poop. Push like you're trying to poop. And I knew that I had been already pooping all that day because I had had like I said that bowel movement and all that so I went ahead and pushed pushed like I was gonna poop it took three pushes and she came out but prior to that that first push I pushed and a gush of water came out splashed the doctor all over his face he says the water broke so my water hadn't broke until I came into the hospital so it took three pushes and then Lizzie came out but she was real tiny and we had to stay in the hospital for a while and get cleared and all that to leave. But once she was out of the hospital and home, she was very healthy, gained her weight back, nursed, did everything very well. Um, she's a very happy girl today, very healthy. So we are very blessed. Anyhow, I wanted to just share that with you here today. Um, if you are having a child or you've had one, doing something like this is also neat. Write your birth story, you know, share that. Everybody's got these birth stories. Um, usually us moms and women, if we've had children, we get together. That's one of the hot topics is to talk about how um, our births went. So um, write it down, make a story y'all. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are interested in listening to my other story um, that I have written, you can head on over to my other channel. I'll link that down below. If you're new here, stick around, subscribe. I would love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching.